Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Take down Tucker Carlson just said the one thing NBC was begging him not to. It's now becoming a war of the news networks and it's all thanks to the downfall of that sick piece of garbage Harvey Weinstein. You see, NBC was offered the chance to break the Weinstein story and turned it down seemingly because he was buddies with NBC News president, Noah Oppenheim. Tucker Carlson was furious when he saw what they had done so he went on his show last night and demanded that NBC News fire President Oppenheim for covering up for Weinstein's sick perversions. Carlson stared into the camera and said with fire and gusto in his voice, Noah Oppenheim ought to resign immediately, and if he doesn't, he ought to be fired immediately by NBC's parent company Comcast. News executives are not allowed to tell lies. They're not allowed to participate in cover-ups. They ought to answer straightforward questions straightforwardly. When they don't, you know they're corrupt, and that's exactly what NBC News is. This is a very bold but very correct stance for Tucker Carlson to take. Noah Oppenheim is very powerful in the media world and clearly had no qualms covering for his buddy. However, Tucker cannot take him down all alone. Give him a hand by getting this out everywhere and let's force them to fire Oppenheim before he covers for more deviants. Checkmate Jeff Sessions just made the ultimate threat to sanctuary cities that has them terrified. The liberal states have been going on a sanctuary bench recently in an attempt to keep their low cost rights free laborers. Heck, California just declared their entire state a sanctuary state. Well, lefties, A.G. Sessions is here and he is putting his foot down. Instead of just sitting back and watching it happen like so many others in the past, Sessions is backing up his talk and declaring an end of federal funding for police in the selected cities who are not complying. Attorney General Sessions declared that the following cities are in violation of federal law and have until October 27 to fix it or else. New Orleans. New York City. Philadelphia. Cook County in Illinois along with its largest city Chicago. Attorney General Sessions has made it clear that if these cities did not clean up their act by the deadline, he will declare them in violation of Section 1373 which states that local authorities must share immigration information of criminals with federal authorities. Sadly, many other semi-sanctuary locations are still protected. According to a June determination by the Justice Department, California is not in violation of 1374 despite their policies. It's a start but we have a long way to go. If you all think Sessions is doing the right thing, let him know it by sharing his big new around to other conservatives you know. Beat down Trump just did something brutal to Iran last night that will change the entire world. Late last night President Donald Trump shifted the course of the entire world by making doing something to Iran that Obama would never have done. The White House released the first document of their new Iran strategy last night near 4 a.m., clearly to make sure the Iranians got a chance to see it for themselves. Basically, our trade partnership and alliances with Iran are over. We are going to realign our nation with other Middle Eastern countries to oppose Iran's terrorism funding and deny them access to a nuclear bomb. The president also called for the international community, specifically the United Nations, to quit glossing over the human rights abuses of the Iranian regime for their own benefit. Oh, it also looks like from the press statement that we are going to be setting up a whole new missile defense system in the region to help protect everyone from all the intercontinental ballistic missiles that Iran purchased with all of the Obama money. However, it is worth noting that the last line of the release says, this behavior cannot be tolerated, the nuclear deal must be strictly enforced, and the IAEA must fully utilize its inspection authorities. To me. 
that means we are not going to pull out of the deal just yet but President Trump is about to do some serious renegotiating. Do you all like Trump's new strategy or is he not going far enough? Let him know by getting this out everywhere with your own comments. Beat down what Neil Gorsuch just did against Burke will rock the Supreme Court. The fall term of the Supreme Court of the United States has just started up and already there's a not unexpected rivalry brewing. As you know, Trump appointed Neil Gorsuch as the newest justice, after Obama was unable to get his nominee through. And that pissed a lot of Democrats off. And let's just say, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, or RGB as she is known, leans way left. Gorsuch wants to follow the Constitution, as he should. During a recent oral argument, he said to one attorney, eh, maybe we can just for a second talk about that arcane matter, the Constitution. RBG came at Gorsuch, trying to shut him down. But it didn't work. He continued asking questions, one coming less than a minute after RBG tried unsuccessfully to shut him up. They traded barbs again just a week later during our oral argument in another case. Gorsuch, again, wanting to follow the Constitution. RBG, on the other hand, noting how the SCOTUS has otherwise interpreted it. It could just be a CNERD thing, however RGB made it quite clear during the election what she though of Trump, I can't imagine what the country would be with Donald Trump as our president. For the country, it could be four years. For the court. It could be I don't even want to contemplate that. And this, he is a faker. He has no consistency about him. He says whatever comes into his head at the moment. He really has an ego. How has he gotten away with not turning over his tax returns? Me thinks RGB may be taking out her feelings on Gorsuch now. What do you think? Please comment and share. H. T. The Daily Caller and Fox News. surprise. Early this morning Trump got up gave Iran something no one expected. President Trump has been critical of the Iran nuclear agreement negotiated under Obama since day one. He has often argued that the deal doesn't go far enough to check Iran's nuclear capabilities, and has claimed that Iran has already broken the spirit of the deal through its never-ending ballistics testing. Enough is enough. The White House released a statement early Friday morning outlining a new stance on Iran. The United States' new Iran strategy focuses on neutralizing the government of Iran's destabilizing influence and constraining its aggression, particularly its support for terrorism and militants. We will work to deny the Iranian regime, and especially the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, dash funding for its malign activities and oppose IRGC activities that extort the wealth of the Iranian people. We will counter threats to the United States and our allies from ballistic missiles and other asymmetric weapons. Wham! President Trump is sick and tired of Iran's belligerency. He is expected to follow up these comments with a speech later on Friday outlining his new policy. Although it is not expected that he will withdraw from the agreement completely, according to a report from The Guardian, he is expected to impose sanctions on the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, propose new measures to punish Iran for its ballistic missile program, ask Congress to pass legislation that will automatically trigger sanctions if Iran is caught violating the terms of the nuclear agreement. Isn't it great to have a president who is ready to stick up for the American people and call out bad deals? Share this out so Iran knows what's coming. H.T. The Guardian Disgusting weeks after Trump assassination comment, state senator just said something even more shocking. Missouri State Senator Maria Chappelle Nadal just proved that tigers never change their stripes. Chappelle Nadal made national headlines and was censored by her colleagues earlier this year after commenting I hope Trump is assassinated, on Facebook. Even Democrats were outraged by this insane comment from the lawmaker, and several called for her to step down 
which she refused to do. She was nevertheless removed from all eight committees that she served on. Although she publicly apologized for her first post hoping for a Trump assassination, Chappelle Nadal doubled down on her Hitler post, saying, I still have a First Amendment right, and I still have a family I need to fight for. Her post was in response to President Trump's comments on Puerto Rico. Chappelle Nadal's mother is Puerto Rican. The president suggested the island's government do more for its own recovery efforts after Hurricane Maria. Perhaps Chappelle Nadal should crack open a history book. There's a big difference between helping Puerto Rico as much as possible and then suggesting its local government take more responsibility and invading multiple countries and systemically slaughtering millions of people. But hey, in the topsy turvy world of the Democrats, anything goes. Chappelle Nadal is right her speech is protected by the First Amendment. However, her hyperbolic comparison does not befit a public official. Missouri Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill is up for re-election in 2018, and she still has not condemned Chappelle Nadal's post. Share this out 50,000 times to expose the Democrats and get both Chappelle Nadal and McCaskill out of office. H.T. Fox News